Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Many people find them fascinating, and others are scared. They all help our planet, but tigers are what we'll be focusing on. Specifically, the Siberian tiger. They are beautiful, amazing creatures, and they are endangered. And some species have even gone extinct. The Siberian tigers are a glorious cat up in Russia, and you can probably guess where they're from. Siberia, along with the rest of Eastern Russia, some are in China and North Korea. There are roughly only 450 of them still out in the wilderness. They eat rabbits, wild boars, deer, elk, and even fish, along with birds. They rely on their stripes to blend in and camouflage themselves to their surroundings, especially while they are on the prowl. Not only that, but they are also excellent in the water. They can kill other animals no problem while they're swimming. Not only that, but they also use their weight to their advantage. They use it to knock their prey over, then they bite them in the neck and kill them for their food. They are a very solitary species, as well as other species of tiger. That is until it comes to breeding season, and when the females give birth to their babies. On average, breeding season is between November to April. The female's gestation period is around 103 days, and they can have anywhere from one to four cubs, but it's usually two to three. Something's weird in that picture. Anyway, as the cubs stay with their mother, they follow her around, and they go out of their den at about eight weeks of age and become independent around 18 months of age. After about two and a half years, they leave their moms, but the mother tigers guard their children from wandering male tigers or other creatures that might kill her cubs. I hope you enjoyed my video, and if so, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help this channel a ton. I hope the best for you, and we'll talk to you next time.